That's it. My last class. Wait. Classes are over. That means... I finally start doing my reviews again. Okay. Now this ought to be a good one. Mad Max, yeah. Check it out. So, for those of you that didn't know, Mad Max was a 1979 action film that starred Mel Gibson. The movie takes place in a dystopian future where ruthless gangs fight over simple things like water and fuel. The film was a major success, quickly becoming a cult classic and spawning a number of sequels. And there's even a new one in the works right now. You see this? That's because it pretty much launched Mel Gibson's career. Yeah. Let's hope the game's as good as the movie. So the first thing you see when you turn the game on is this big wall of text. It's just the general premise of Mad Max, which I've already explained, so we could just skip over that. After that, you just select Begin Road War 1 and the game starts. So at first glance, the graphics may seem a bit bland and ugly but it's actually portraying the film setting pretty well. The first time playing, you're not really sure what you're supposed to do, so you just drive around without any real knowledge of what you're doing, using dynamite to get through barriers and to destroy enemy vehicles. But the driving is actually okay, so that's fine. One thing I find interesting is that you simply press the D-pad in whatever direction you want to drive and the car goes in that direction. In most driving games, you would use left and right on the D-pad to steer, and then press up or A to accelerate. I'm not saying it's a good or a bad thing, I just think it's interesting that they made the car drive this way. One thing that is annoying about the driving is the enemies and obstacles. As you drive around, you'll encounter enemy cars that try to run you off the road, enemy towers that look like they're made out of tires that throw dynamite at you, and these annoying oil spills. Every time you drive over them, you fly in the opposite direction you're trying to go. I mean, I know it's a video game and you're supposed to have enemies, but you can't drive for a few seconds without dynamite being thrown at you or some asshole trying to run you off the road. It's hard enough when you're trying to figure out what the hell you're supposed to do in the first place. But as long as you avoid the enemies as best as you can, you have all the time in the world to just explore and... Oh, you could run out of gas. Yeah. I guess now would be a good time to introduce the inventory. So here's your inventory menu. You got... Ammo, health, dynamite, damage, fuel, food, what? God damn. Jesus, what is this, the NES version of Fallout? So, for a while, the game is going to mainly consist of you driving around until you either run out of gas or get killed. Then the game restarts and you do it all over again. And again. And again. There is actually a store in the game. But you can only really afford maybe one can of gas or a very minor health upgrade on your car. You're not getting much help here, and for the life of me I couldn't really figure out what my currency was anyway. It wasn't indicated on the inventory screen. Then later, I realized that your food and water is your currency. Why are they two different categories then? That's unnecessary. And this revelation didn't really help me anyway. It seems like I've searched nearly every inch of this deserted wasteland and I haven't seen any food or water anywhere. Just more assholes trying to kill me. How the hell am I supposed to buy more stuff? In fact, when I noticed this option in the store called Arena Pass, I got excited for a second. I thought, hey, I finally figured out the goal here. Go to the arena. But look, it costs seven food water. I've got two. And I'm not finding any more. Guess I gotta just keep searching. Whoa, 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 hang on. Whoa, I think I found an enemy base. So on this part, you're actually on foot, and you gotta use a gun. Wow, a change of pace, thank god. And guess what? You actually get to find food and water. And gas. And health. And health. Everything. The only thing I find stupid are these two rooms down here. This one you open with the key to find another key. And this other one you open with the key to find nothing. What was the point of that? Well, anyway, once you've cleaned the place out, you've got enough money to buy that arena pass. But, good luck finding that arena, cause... At this point, your already scarce amount of fuel is running low. You're bound to run out of gas. And then you gotta start all over again. So here's my strategy. 
after you go to the enemy base and get as much food and water as you can, just spend it all on gas, and then search around everywhere for whatever might be an arena. Unfortunately, this plan wasn't as genius as I had first thought. The whole wasteland just looks like the same landscape repeating itself over and over again. It's hard to tell where I've been and where I haven't. In fact, I don't even know what the arena is supposed to look like, so I'm not even sure what I'm looking for. There's this area up here I don't think I've been to, but... Oh, damn it. Okay, okay, I know I can make it. Is that it? I think I found it. Yes, yes. Okay, let's do this again. Okay, okay, come on, come on, come on, yes! Okay, I did it. I made it to the arena. It's sort of surreal finally seeing some kind of cutscene. So once you make it to the arena, you have to battle like 30 other cars, I guess, and just an all-out demolition derby type thing. Of course, by that I mean you just sort of sit there while other cars drive into pits and die. If you happen to fall in a pit yourself, it's okay, because hey, guess what, you actually get lives this time. So you just wait for the final cars to fall into the pit, and then you find the exit. Whew, finally did it. Man, I wonder what's next. Uh, what happened here, guys? It looks like someone spilled Kool-Aid in the game cartridge. I mean, the colors on the first level, while sort of bland, at least resembled the movies. This is just a pink nightmare. And what am I doing now? Ugh, another arena pass? I gotta do this crap all over again? Ugh. Oh, nope. J just ran out of dynamite. Ugh. I am not doing this again. So, Mad Max for NES. The idea of a Mad Max game is actually really cool and it has potential, but... This game has too much restrictions and vagueness to really be good. If it was a little less vague and kept those restrictions, or if it was more lenient and still kept the vagueness, it would be fine, but it's just too much. It's not the hardest game I've played or anything, but I just don't feel like pouring my time into it when I'm not really having that much fun. To be honest, I think I'd rather just watch the movie.